Once again, we have another new look out here in the Montana garage. I moved the frame over as close to the well, I kind of I moved the 57 over first, covered it up so I'm getting ready to do a little more sanding, and I don't know when I'm going to work on it again. I'm still waiting on some parts. Uh, try to keep a little bit of dust off it. As you can see, I put the frame over there, and then I created some room over here for me to work. So we are back on operation, just kind of clean up and sand on the body. I've uh, got some primer to remove up here. Try to figure out how to remove. I'm not taking the glass out. I'm gonna take the glass out. I'm not gonna take glass out yet, but probably try to figure out how to remove this trim so I can sand a little closer around there. And uh, yeah, just small stuff still waiting on parts. We'll get the old 80 grit on the DA out. Just little tiny surface rust speckles here and there. Um, more up here. I think you can see it back here in the light a little better, but see all this where it's surface rusted. I think I sanded this up here when I was doing the trunk area, but you can see the difference. Uh, clean it up, and this is just how it's been. So, try to get all that off there. Work on this junk a little bit. And just get it cleaned up and ready to squirt a layer of primer on it so we can stop worrying about it getting uh, more rust. More rust here. All right, let's go. here sanding away doing my thing uh, did all the DA stuff broke out some hand sandpaper and I'm just kind of scrubbing away at some of this stuff or sanding away and then uh, just when you think things are going great and well for darn sure at least you know I don't have to worry about any more rust on my car I got all the rust taken care of no found some more rust nothing major uh, this is just a little area where the bumper bolts through and it's got some metal reinforcements in the back and apparently a little water gets behind those because this was just bubbled up a little bit and I started poking around at it. See how good I can show that and uh, same thing on the bottom, actually worse on the bottom. So this one ain't, it ain't really no big deal. I'll get a wire wheel and try to clean that up. This top one I'll probably hit with a little, clean it up, put a little weld through primer on there and then I'll just, I can probably just weld that closed. This bottom one though, I think I'm gonna have to make a little patch for. So, I don't know if I'll try to get the grinder in here and square this off, or just try to kind of do my little trick where I put a piece of metal on the wire and kind of make it fit close enough to where we can weld something in there once we get it all cleaned out. Oh, well, at least we got stuff to do, right? Hey, have you guys seen my red light? I stuck that damn thing on something the other day. I was out here, I couldn't find it for like a week, and then I found it stuck to my, uh, Red rotisserie, bad place to stick your red light. Uh, and then I had it, which was cool. Hey, I found my light. I was practicing some welding. I had it on the welding table. I put all that welding stuff away. I can't find my damn light again. I stuck it somewhere, I guess. That's the last time I remember using it. But anyways, I was looking for it because I was trying to show you guys that I got this kind of cleaned up and a little light wouldn't hurt none, but I, I don't have another, another light out here right now. So anyways, uh, Wire wheeled this the best I can. I'll probably shoot that with some weld through primer and let it sit. I'm not gonna break the welder out today. I don't have that much more time. I'm gonna keep on sanding and then uh, I'll probably check the other side. It looks like it has a little bit of bubbling. So I'll sand that all off and make sure that I get that ready. If I'm gonna uh, weld, I'll weld that at the same time and then I'll weld. Once I have the welder out, I'll weld this bad boy in place and we'll figure out where this bad boy goes and get all that welding done at the same time. Just not today. I was kind of hoping a bunch of stuff would come out of there and look kind of cool on the camera, but uh, not so much. I don't think I'm using my rotisserie right. <laughs> Laying on the floor, sanding on the bottom of my rockers. But if you've watched any of my other videos, this is going to be faster than trying to rotate the body up. We'll just get her done like this.
All right, well, uh, my son's got hockey games here in a little bit. So basically that's all I got done today was just a little bit of, well, it's not all. I mean, I got pretty much this whole side ready to roll, except for the fact that uh, we got to deal with these little rust problems. But that's for another day. Uh, hopefully I can come back out after the hockey game. I have some sanding left to do on the other side and the roof. And then I'm going to take these trim pieces off of here. I guess before I do the roof, I'll take the trim pieces off. And then we'll be getting close to ready to, to spray this thing. I'm trying to decide how I'm going to spray it. I think, I think, I don't really know, like I said before, anything. I don't know anything. Um, I want to get the trunk. More YouTube comments. Thanks, guys. Uh, I'm gonna get the trunk, I think, done first. So again, I got a little bit of welding to do. I gotta weld that guy in. I gotta figure out where this guy goes. I'm gonna get that stuff taken care of. I think I'll spray the trunk, then put the trunk lid on, and then spray the car, like, you know, the next day or whatever. Seem like a reasonable plan to you guys? I don't know, now that I think about it, maybe it's easier just to do it all together. I could just leave the trunk off get everything ready. I was just kind of curious about spraying, you know, in here and then on here and getting weird spray on it, but it's just primer and all that's going to get, uh, at least the bottom's going to get the bed liner. I'm not sure about the sides yet. More decisions I got to make, but it'd be easier if I could spray it all at once. So I don't have to have two different days of trying to keep the place warm. So I'll get the trunk lid already. I'll just have it sitting on a stand or something. I still don't know. How much how should I do this guys? Let me know. It's the next day. I'm back out in the Montana garage. I didn't come back out after the hockey game last night. I'm actually feeling a little sick. Uh, so I think that's kind of why I've been a little unmotivated lately. I haven't been feeling that great the last few days. But uh I'm gonna come out and try to get something done today. First thing I'm gonna do is try to get some of this stainless trim off here because I got the side mostly ready. Need to uh, do some sanding up top. And I tried to kind of pry it on these. I wasn't sure how they came off. And then uh, my buddy David from Tri5 Bob let me know that there's a little nut on the inside of there that I just took off. So hopefully these will come off here now. Huh, that makes a lot of difference. You take that nut off there, see the little stud? nut inside you can take off and then off she goes all right so let's uh go to the other side and take this stuff off here i got the corners off and i took a time took the time to mark them so i know where they go now what i won't take the time to do is uh put them someplace safe and then i'll lose them and i even though i marked them i won't be able to find them and reuse them actually i'm going to try to avoid that i'm going to go put them in a baggie right now all right let's see if this stuff can just pry off here now the other side already kind of started popping out These ones look like instead of a nut on the inside, I can see a little screw right here on the outside. A little Phillips head screw. Okay, 
Guess we'll consult the old Google machine. See if somebody on there knows. Because I don't know. Seems like it's loosening up, but I don't really want to destroy it trying to get it off of there. The windshield molding is in the rubber seal. You pull the window, then remove the seal and the trim. That's what I was wondering. The rear is held on the clip. So we got the rear all the way off. But this one, that's what I was thinking. It's in that rubber. So this guy says, pull the window, then remove the seal and the trim. So gas can blowing up over there, just expanding. Um, I'll see if anybody else has anything else to say, but yeah, when removing the windshield, the upper molding comes out with the windshield. So I'm gonna be taking windshield out soon. But I guess for now, it's staying in there. Dang it. All right, well, I knew there was a reason I didn't take that trim off there before. Uh, like I said, it has to come out with the window. So got my little stool set up up here and I think I can reach the rest of what I got to do here. Again, the rotisserie, I probably could rotate the rotisserie and do it standing up normal, but you all seen me try to rotate the rotisserie. This is, ain't gonna be that much sanding to get this done. So I'm just gonna do it like this. Uh, so let me find a way to set the camera up and we'll get busy. Well, let's see, we're getting closer. I got all that uh, old primer off the lid. The little bits of surface rust that were starting to form up pretty much sanded right off. So she's all pretty and ready to go. Might dig in underneath this uh, drip rail a little bit. And I do still have to get this side. I've done the main panels, but I gotta get around the windows, just hand sanding. So you got, got a little surface rust there. And, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but you see how right there, that's where I, you can see where I touched it. Just my, just my uh, hand, you know, leaves a little bit of oils or whatever, and then it rusts in the shape of your, your the, you know, the, as your hand print, fingerprints there. So try not to touch it too much anymore. Obviously I got a little more sanding to do and then I'm making a mess now. So there's all sorts of dust and shit that needs cleaned up again, but you know, before we go crazy with spraying the epoxy, it'll all get wiped down. And this time I'll be smart enough to wear rubber gloves so that I'm not touching it anymore. So, <coughs> oh man, not feeling so good. But I'm gonna try to get these door pillars all ready to go. And then I got, I got to deal with the trunk and get that little bit of welding done back there. Not sure if it's gonna happen tonight, but we'll try. Dang it, I thought I had all the primer off of here. Still got this little guy here, and it looks like, you know, might be a little rust on this side too. So, gotta deal with that, yep, yeah, while I'm doing the windows. And then, I do still have a uh, primer on the front clip. Over here in my pile, so there's one 55 fender. Looks like my 55 hood. Another 55 fender. This is a 58 Chevy fender. I got two good fenders for 58 Chevy. Uh, and a hood and a front bumper if anybody needs that stuff. I tried to sell it a long time ago and didn't get any takers So it's just sitting there taking up space. I can't 
can't just throw that stuff away, you know, but so anybody's, if uh, anybody out there knows anybody that's building a 58 Chevy and needs some stuff, hit me up. And I guess I should clean up around these windows a little better. Stuff is never ending, I tell you. All right, we're back. It's been, I don't know, a week or so since I've been out here working on the 55. I still have to get this window area cleaned up. Probably we're taking off of this little area here. Trunk welding done. I've been, uh, been pretty damn sick for about a week. So I just haven't been out here doing anything. I don't, uh, I don't think it was the China virus, but what do I know? I tried to stay away from people just in case, but uh, yeah, just uh, kind of like a chest cold, been hacking and wheezing and a little down on energy, but I'm feeling better and I need to get some stuff done. Unfortunately, I don't know when I'm gonna have time to prime this thing now because I kind of used up my window of days off laying around being sick. Now I gotta get back to work and uh, I mean, I got time to come out and do stuff, but to prime it, I need like, you know, all day and the next day to keep it warm. And so I don't know how to come up with some sort of plan. Uh, for today though, we're gonna try to get the rest of this little bit of prep work done. So let's get to it. Little update, uh, got that all done. Got that done. This one does not have any rust down here, so that's good. There's just kind of a little bulge in the metal, but it's not like soft, so I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be, but that's how that one's gonna stay. Uh, I cleaned up around the window real well. And yeah, I guess that's it. So I cleaned, well, I cleaned up around these tail lights a little bit and the trunk a little, a little bit more, just with the scotch bright. Uh, I still have a mess in the trunk as far as dust and whatnot, but I think the next thing we're going to do is try to tackle this rust. Um, so like I said, that one I think I can just burn in. This one, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Hmm. Okay, I think I have a plan, at least a plan that I'm going to attempt for this repair on this bottom hole here. Um, Again, using my uh, rotisserie to its rotisserie to its uh, greatest advantage by laying on the floor and working upside down. Anyways, I'm going to take the grinder with the cutting wheel and just try to straighten that out, and maybe try to straighten that out. I don't know how I'm going to. I don't know if I'm going to be able to straighten the edges out because I don't have anything small enough to get in there. Maybe uh, a little die grinder or something. But anyway, I think I'm going to try to straighten this out right on this seam. And then I'll see if I can just kind of straighten that out and then we'll see if we can just kind of make it a little more uniform of a patch to try to, you know, make it easier to fit, uh, you know, make something fit in there. Let's see what happens. Plug the old ear holes. touch that just yet. I'm learning. All right, I still haven't found my damn light. Um, but we have a little more of a square uh, hole to work with now. So that'll be nice. I'll grind the edge of this. I put the uh, well through primer in here, but I'll clean which, you know, it's weld through, I can weld to it, but I'll, I'll clean the edge of it up just so I can weld it that a little better. And uh, this one I'm just gonna leave as is and buzz it in. So let's clean that up a little bit and then we'll go over there and uh, set the old weld machine up and drag it over here and make some sparks. 
Now, as a general rule, I've always been told when you're making patch panels, um, you always want to round the corners, and it has to do with how the heat's going to shrink the metal and pull it. If it's a 90 degree corner, it causes more issues. That's, I'm no expert. I've never, I don't know. I'm just, that's what I've read and seen from other people. So that's usually what I try to do. Uh, in this case, I got squared off corners, but I'm not going to worry about it too much on this little patch here. Uh, it's a little tiny thing and it's all you know, hidden by the bumper. We're going to try to make it look the best we can, obviously, but I'm not going to worry about you know, ovaling this thing out. Um, it's going to get buzzed in, ground down, and a little bit of fill to make it less obvious that we did some work there, and we're going to call that good. All right, so I found a trusty piece of scrap sheet metal. Drew my uh, approximate size of the patch on there. We'll buzz that out and then start fitting her for reals. All right, a little more trimming, and I think, let's see where you at there. I think I'm gonna call that close enough. It's not perfect, but we didn't expect it to be, right? Uh, so let's get the welder set up. All right, as usual, this freaking welder's fighting me. I just, I'm sure it's me, not the welder, but uh, nothing pretty, but we got some weld all the way around there. And we'll deal with this thing up here and then we'll grind her off. All right, my battery died when I was finishing off this little piece here, but uh, there's where we ended up. Nothing perfect, but good enough to fill her in and uh, hide it with a bumper. I am back out in the Montana garage after, I don't even know how long it's been since I've been out here working on cars. It's been a couple of weeks, probably. I still got my mess out here from when I made my uh, oil leak video on the 50 or the the 57 the 73 diesel uh we went hunting so we got a meat shop and uh we did uh have some success finally so we got a couple little bucks here so we got to get all that stuff taken care of but i got a little bit of time tonight so i wanted to try to get this video finished up uh still working on the trunk and the 55 here i don't know if it was in this video it's been so long since I've messed around, I can't remember. Either in this video or another video, I said I wasn't gonna put these braces back in here. Uh, but I had a couple guys recommend that I actually do that. And I got them, they were pretty beat up from tearing them off, but I got them mostly straightened out. Uh, drilled out the holes a little bit where the plug welds are gonna go. So I'm gonna try to burn those back in. I might clean them off just a little better. 
Uh, but I gotta get those in, and I've said it about 8,000 times, but I still have to get this guy on here. So I gotta get my son out here to help me figure out where that goes. And then I can get this dang video done and out there to you guys in the world. So uh, let me get the welder set up and we'll burn these bad boys in. I uh, hit these holes with the flap disc a little better. I'd already done it, but looks like some I didn't get that good. Second one's cleaned up and uh, didn't say it, but I got the bottom or underside of these sprayed with weld through too. So we'll get these plug welded back in and then, uh, you know, the protected in between them where I can't get any paint later with the weld through. So like I said, I don't know if it was in this video or another one, but these braces were put here by uh, Chevy or whatever, because the trunk floors would sag a little bit. And you can see it's not super strong. So like I said, I wasn't gonna put them back in just because they're kind of bent up and whatnot, but uh, I got them pretty straightened out. And then, like I said, a couple guys said, you should probably put those back in there. They put them there for a reason. And I guess they got a point there. And it's all going to get covered with, uh, you know, the Raptor liner like under there. So it'll look fine. Uh, let's get to welding. Okay, not actually welding just yet. Uh, things, we've talked about it before. I'm not an expert welder. I made a little practice piece here to uh, check my settings and make sure I could get a good plug weld without burning a hole in the trunk. So I think, I think I like it where it's at. So I guess we'll try one for reals and see what happens. And I still haven't washed this nasty welding hat. I got a washer machine right inside. I should probably, uh, should probably do that. I mean, most people probably wouldn't even put this on their head, I'm guessing, but uh, you know, I guess I'm not too worried about it. Ah, there's a hole in the pants. All right, we got all moved in here and now I don't have one of my hammers here. Hold on. All right, so the one thing I don't really like is I wish I could clamp this together a little better somehow. Um, but there's no real way to you know, put a clamp under there and over here. So we're gonna go with trying to fold each spot down as I burn it in and see if we can uh, you know, get a decent weld, not burn a hole right through the trunk. And uh, hopefully get enough weld on there to hold these back in place. So here we go, let's see what happens. Uh, dang it. One more thing, I gotta have my old man glasses to see when I weld. Here it goes. That sounded terrible, it looks terrible. I couldn't see what I was doing because I was using the hammer. I don't know if it's because of the, I mean this is weld through, so I'm supposed to be a weld on it, but it was just acting all sorts of nasty. up a notch. Alright, let's try another one. See, I'm going to do this little corner of this one that I missed. That sounded better. Looks a little better. Flatter weld there. Actually, seems like it might have actually done something.
it was all pretty ugly, but uh, I don't know. Once I ground them off, they're not that bad, and I'm not trying to make them disappear. It's obvious. I'm not trying to hide the fact that that thing is welded on there, but I just ground the, the big ugliness off, and then this thing still has a little bit of hitting in it, so I just hit the whole thing. It'll look perfect with uh, Raptor liner, and even to make it look even a little better, I'll put one of those trunk mats in here, so you'll never even see it. It'll be great then. We'll get this crap cleaned up and hopefully I can do a little better on the second one. Fingers crossed. Part two was about the same as the first one, kind of smugly welds, but we got them ground off and it's in there and looks decent. Let's see what the underside looks like. See how bad we uh, screwed up the Raptor liner down here. Well, you can just see dull spots. So the spots where the uh, Raptor liner was a little dull colored, I mean, I got poor lighting so you get nothing but a shadow. It kind of burned it loose, so I just, every spot where I spot welded, I kind of picked off the Raptor liner. And then, like I said, we'll just do a quick uh, Half of them will be under the gas tank. There's, I guess, four that won't be under the gas tank. I'm more worried about just protecting it than what it looks like, but uh, hopefully just a quick spritz of the Raptor liner again, and we'll be as good as we were, or close to it. Plus, we got bracage in the trunk now, so I guess that's the thing that's important. I don't know if it feels, eh, feels a little stiffer, maybe. All right, uh, braces are in. I still don't have the little tab on here. I need to get this video out, though, so you guys don't need to watch me do that. I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm going to have to put the trunk on. And I tried to take some measurements, but it's going to be pretty tricky. This, the, the little... Uh, I guess we'll call it the male part on the trunk that fits in the female part here is like almost as big as that. So it's gotta be pretty much right on. So probably gonna get the trunk on, line it up the best I can, and then I'll crawl through the little hole there and then kind of line this up while I'm having Trey shut, the, shut it down or I'll you know, try to close it down right here and get a good look. But I need to make sure it's right where it needs to be before I weld it on. Uh, so maybe that'll be in the next video. Or maybe I'll just do it and then I'll show you the finished product. Uh, if it's anything like the rest of my welding, I don't want to show you anyways because garbage is a good word for that. Um, but we got her done. So uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, huge thanks to all the people that uh, watched my membership video or the video where I talked about having memberships. So uh, huge thanks to the people that did that and want to support the channel. Uh, look for some... Uh, Actually, you guys will probably get to see this first for everybody else. So thank you, and then everybody else will see it a couple hours or the next day later. And then uh, if you do want to check out the memberships, uh, just click the little membership, or I guess it says join. When you're watching the video, there's a subscribe and then a join button right next to that. And then there's three different levels. Check it out, see if it's something you're interested in. If not, that's totally cool too. But thanks to the people that did that, and uh, watch for some extra content coming your way. And I don't know, we'll be back out soon. I don't know if my plan was to get this thing in primer, but I was sick for a couple weeks and I missed kind of my window of time to do it. Uh, I hate to let it sit here and get rusty again, but I really don't know if I'm gonna have time to do it uh, anytime soon. Plus trying to keep it warm enough in here now that it's uh, actually real winter and cold. It's like 12 degrees outside right now, I think. Uh, anyways, that's it, thanks for watching. I'm not sure what's next, but I'll try to get another video out here soon, and uh, come on back and watch it.